I just discovered an API that I love, so I'm gonna share it with you. It's the new date formatter in Swift 5.5 and iOS 15. So here I have a Xcode project open. Let's make this say, welcome back. We'll go dot font is equal to dot system size. Let's do like 32 weight dot bold design rounded. Yeah, perfect. And then we're gonna go text. Today is, oh, we need a V stack. I already messed up. I'm two minutes in. Okay, command click, embed. We leave the mistakes in, baby. Now, text. Today is come to the top. We're gonna go at state uh, variable state var date string is equal to empty string for now. And then we are going to do string interpolation date string forward slash parentheses date string. Resume this. All right, today is nothing. Now, let's do dot on appear. Are you ready for the magic? Because this is the magic. Do you remember previously when you had to use a date formatter and you, and you had to look up like Swift date format and you get this, you know, okay, cool. Here's the key. Here's what I got to enter in. You got to enter in these strings. No. Okay, we're gonna say date string on appear. So as soon as this starts, we're gonna say date string is equal to date dot now dot formatted. Okay. Only available on iOS 15 or newer. We know, dude. I forgot to do this. If you also forgot, just go to your project settings and set it to iOS 15. Moving on. Let's resume this, tell our Xcode that we're good now. Okay, so now it automatically formats it as such. Today is 1023, 1.44 p.m. But the magic is when you can say dot date time, but you just basically add whatever you want. And what I mean by that is we could do like a uh, weekday. Today is Saturday, but we also want the month. Today is October. We also want the day. And the coolest part about this is it has like an order to follow. It's not going to say like today is, you know, October, Saturday, 2021. It's going to like go in the correct order no matter how you type it. So today is Saturday, October 23rd, dot year, 2021. Cool, right? But wait, there's more. Now we can get in here and say, For the weekday, I don't like how it just says sat. So for the weekday, we could do dot wide. Now it's the whole thing. For the month, we could say dot two digits. It's 1023. I don't like that. We're gonna say dot wide, say October. Okay. Day, we can say ordinal day of day and month. What's that mean? Weekday of the month four. Yeah, don't know what that means. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, we could do two digits for the day, which is it is that now. What's Julian modified? modified? Never mind. So for day, it doesn't look like you have that many options. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, let's go year, two digits. It's just gonna say 21. That looks weird. Okay, so weekday and month are where you have the most wiggle room and day and year, you probably shouldn't touch. But the point is, this is way better than what you used to have to do, where you create your own custom date formatter and you have to Google you know, what the strings are and you gotta look up capital M versus lowercase m and your time. You could add time zone. What else we got here? Day of year, we got hour. Oh crap. Oh, we got hour too? Dot minute. 
1.48 p.m. See? Conversational default digit. Dot Y. See, just try this, though. Like, I kind of just stumbled across this, and I love it. Yeah, I'm not going to touch this anymore. Just going to leave it at that. Good news is dates are easier. Thank you, Swift UI. Thank you, Swift 5.5. Thank you, iOS 15. Here's another video. If you like this, please subscribe.